Welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. I'm gonna do a quick review of the Dremel Multimax. And uh, it's just one of those tools, those oscillating tools that you can put different attachments on the end here and make cuts in you know tight spots like what I'm doing right here, right flush against the edge of this beam. I I've been using this for quite a while for just a full disclaimer. It is not um, a high-end one by any stretch of imagination. Dremel makes a lot of pretty good tools for like small woodwork, light woodworking stuff. And I think that would fall right into that category. I would not use this for like the construction site or anything like that. I don't think it'll hold up. It doesn't have the power of a lot of the bigger and better um, ones out there that are probably more designed for heavy duty continuous work. However, this will do the trick for homeowners doing light work, little trim work here and there. And I said, this is not industrial model, so I don't run it constantly steady because I don't think it can handle steady use like that, but we can go a little ways with it. Plus, I just want to kind of show you, you can hear how it sounds, see how it cuts. That's, I got that blade in it, fairly aggressive. You should see it took me a little bit to break through. This is three quarter inch plywood. Uh, but once I've got through like this, now it will cut quite a bit better because I can kind of go up and down with it as the blade oscillates uh, to make that cut as well. So you can see it, uh, you know, it does the job pretty good. Um, but again, like I said, it is definitely not contractor's model for sure. This is more of a homeowner version of one of these oscillating cutting tools. Super handy, super useful around the house. Um, but you know, just a little bit I've used it. I mean, it was already warm from cutting a bunch on this side, um, but it does seem to warm up relatively quickly. So I don't think the fan system in it is good, you know, doing a great job of cooling it back down. But again, I'm putting it, you know, under a high load for what this particular one was designed for. Now it does have a uh, veritable speed here. You can see that. You can slow it down, speed it up, depending on what you're doing with it. So it does have that feature. Uh, it feels good to the hand. It's a good size that way. And of course the, the um, blade is completely adjustable as far as the angle. I can show you that as well. And of course you can get different, different blades for it too. You got this is a, a much finer tooth, rounded blades, a real a narrow, finer tooth one. Now one downside to this particular, oh, you can even attach sanding pads to it, which I've never done, is this particular model, you have to use an Allen wrench to change the, the, the blade. So this is also how to change the blade on a Dremel Multimax oscillating tool. So you just gotta loosen it up a little bit, doesn't have to be completely loosened. Uh, I'm not completely taken off and you can raise that up and pop this blade out. Um, but when you put it on, you want to make sure that little washer is to the front, in front of the blade. So you slide it underneath that washer. Once you do that, you can put this anywhere you want, any angle you want to put it at. So that's handy. Um, the downside is you do have to use an Allen wrench to change the blade where a lot of the newer ones or other type models are just a quick disconnect. Sorry about the lighting in here. I'm working in a tiny, tiny trailer I'm building. So just tighten this back down and there you have it. So again, this is just a, a quick review of the Dremel Multimax oscillating tool for cutting. It even tells you right there, bevel washer up when you put the blade in. All right, well, I hope you like this quick review. I gotta get back to work, get this done. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in buying one for a homeowner use, light work here and there, I think this is great for a contractor, out on the job daily use, no way. I don't think this would hold up. And thanks for swinging by Shane's Blade Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you swing over to The Art of Doing. Another YouTube channel has different topics this, than, than I have, uh, but a lot of great and interesting stuff. His name is Ben, and his channel name is The Art of Doing. And he's really just trying to inspire people to try something new, something you might not have tried before. So swing over there, let him know I sent you, and uh, maybe you'll find something interesting over there as well.